A Louisville man says he was attacked by police during protests last year. WDRB's Travis Ragsdale shows us the video the attorney says proved their case. Travis? The man at the center of this is on that red scooter. He said he wasn't even there to protest and was trying to leave when all of this happened. I pulled up and had been there maybe two, three minutes tops. That's when Aaron Conaway said this happened. Got my key in the ignition and uh, an officer came and yelled at me to leave and pushed my handlebars straight back and I came back and I turned the wheel and started to pull away. That's Conaway on the red scooter. This happened on Bardstown Road in September last year during Breonna Taylor protests. Conaway says he wasn't even there to protest. Aaron, our client, was handing out some bananas or something to the protesters. Now he's suing LMPD with the help of attorneys Dave Johnson and Jeff Gorski. And I think some of the other officers reacted to that, thinking that there was some sort of officer in danger. In the video, you can see Conaway begin to turn around on his scooter when officers advance to disperse the crowd. One officer goes down. And that's when several others jump in. Got picked up and dropped and, and broke my rib. And then the uh, other officer came and grabbed me under the neck. Conaway was charged with several crimes, including wanton endangerment of a police officer. An initial incident report written by police claimed Conaway struck the officer with his scooter and tried to break through a line of police. All of the charges were dropped. We feel it really there is a complete lack of funding and training for these officers. Um, you know, these officers have not are being, being put in situations now that they have not been properly trained and educated for. I kept my hands and knees on the ground and told them they were hurting me when they hurt me. They were punching me and hitting me. I basically decided to fall over like I was dead so they would leave me alone. LMPD doesn't comment on pending litigation. As far as the attorneys are aware, LMPD has not done any internal investigation into the issue. Travis Ragsdale, WDRB News.